one possible way to start is leveling the base. First level across the base. Then turn the level bubble and level end to end. Okay. Next probably we should attach the coil to the base. I'm going to just check that the nuts are tight so that nothing is loose. Don't want any wobbling parts on the seismometer sensor. And well, this one's a little bit loose. No, maybe not. To attach the boom, first attach the coil spring to this little hook eye on there on the boom and this one up here on the top of the mast. And then carefully slide the knife edge into the groove on the mast, being careful not to dent the knife edge. And if you ever do ship this instrument or move it around, you really have to protect that knife edge. If it isn't really flat, you won't get low friction motion up and down during earthquakes, which is what you really need to detect the very small motions involved in earthquakes. Next thing we do is adjust the position of this coil and you can make some adjustment by loosening this screw and there's a little bit of room. The hole, the slot in the base is a little bit larger than the screw so that you can make some adjustment there. Now I'm pretty close. You really have to look right down the end to make sure you can see light on both sides of that coil. The magnet actually spans the coil. There has to be light on both sides, air gap, so there's no friction. Now in my case, I'm a little bit tight on my side, so I'm going to make the final adjustment just by sliding the knife edge slightly in this groove. And so for the final about a millimeter of motion, you can do that kind of adjustment just by sliding the knife edge. And that's pretty even now, so I'm not getting any scraping. One thing to keep in mind when you do set up the instrument in its final location, don't put it where you can't get your head in here or at least a mirror in there in order to look and make sure you're not scraping. One thing that can happen is you think the instrument's set up right, it has been working in the past, but all of a sudden it doesn't record earthquakes. You think it's still working because if you lean on the table or you make some really large motion, you see some response of the trace. So it is responding, just doesn't pick up earthquakes. Well, that may be because it's touching. If there's the slightest bit of friction between the magnet and the coil, you'll still see some deflection when you lean on the table or do something which would be equivalent to a huge earthquake. But when the, actually the very small waves come from an earthquake, it won't respond because of that friction it can't get moving. 